Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. I have a quick workflow tutorial. This is actually a feature of Cinema 4D I just found out about, which it always surprises me after using Cinema 4D for like 10 years, I'm still finding new things. So this is a really handy workflow tip I'm gonna walk you through. Before I do, I wanna give you another quick tip, and that is to use Shift and then C in order to find a effect. Instead of digging through your menus, which it can take quite a bit of time, just hit Shift and then C, and it's gonna pop up a little dialog. And you can find literally anything. You can find objects, effectors, deformers. So even things like a cube, if you just type it in, it'll pop up. You can hit enter and it'll add it to your scene. Okay, so hit Shift C and type in transfer. Now you'll notice that it's grayed out right now. That's because we have to have a object that's gonna transfer onto another one and has to be highlighted. So let's click on our text, hit Shift C and we'll do it again, transfer and now it's not grayed out. So we can just click on that. It's gonna pull up our transfer tool. You'll notice that I have an icon next to my cursor now. And now if we click and then just hover over any other object in the scene, it's gonna draw a line from the text to that object. And if we just click, it's gonna pop that text to the exact position of that other object. So you can see how quick it is just to move one object and then put it in the exact same position as another. So this is gonna save a ton of time in moving things around your scene. All right, so if we wanna pick a different object in our scene, let's click on it. You can either customize your palettes and put this button right here. So you would right click customize palettes and find that transfer and just drag it up into your dock and then save out your workspace. Now you can just click on that button and then you can start moving these items around. The other way you can do it is if you've used it, you can go back to your move tool, click on a different object, and then right here on this little drop down are your previously used tools. So you can get to it that way if you want to. But anyway, that is the transfer tool. Now, another thing that we can do is if we have our transfer tool highlighted, you'll notice that we have some uh, information over here. Um, let's say that we wanna take our text. So let's click on our text, click on our transfer tool, and let's move it to our, um, our Taurus. If I look at all this information right here, you can see that I've turned off enable rotation. And if I click that on, it's gonna inherit the rotation and the position of that Taurus. So we can play around with the different options here. We can also play around with um, the X, Y, and Z if we want to. Um, another thing we can do is if we want to transfer it to say this landscape, we can just drag the landscape into that little slot here and it'll move it. So those are a couple of little things that you can do in the options for the transfer. So that's the transfer tool. It's a really, really great way to move things around your scene. It'll save you a lot of time. And I encourage you to customize your layout with this button included. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.